What's up guys, Best of Games here, and we're back with some Reno Nazath Rogue. As you can see it's 1.1 here. Changed a couple cards, took out a couple cards, made a couple things, maybe slightly better. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it uh, turns out. Most notable thing that I changed was I got rid of um, Gang Up. Because, well, as you saw in the end of the last video, which if you didn't, you, you should go back and watch the first one. Um, Man, man oh man, it's uh, pretty obvious, like that was a bad, bad card to have in the deck, based on Reno Jackson. So I swapped out a couple things, Oxaron's still here, as, as, you know, as you do. Okay. Well, I don't have a card to play. We so we'll attack into that. We have Reno Jackson, so it's not... There isn't that much of a threat. If he plays anything big, I can uh, journey below, eviscerate. <laughs> okay. So... Discover a minion. We're gonna go with the Tomb Pillager. We we'll do that, and we will. We'll hero power. Next turn, we'll play Tomb Pillager. Ah, uh, the Darkshire Councilman. Maybe we won't play Tomb Pillager. Maybe instead we'll just do this Shadow Strike. Goodbye. Forever. And we'll do that so we can remove that off the board next turn. Sure, I'm taking a lot of damage, but that's because I know I have Reno in my hand. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making as... I wouldn't be making as many plays as I am. Hmm. I see. I see, I see, I see. So, we're gonna... Sap this bad boy back to your hand. And then we're going to... Eviscerate that. And then, because we can remove it next turn. Yet again. Scumbag. Okay. So... Couple options here. I also threw this Vanish in the deck, because I felt like... You know what? Maybe there's some purpose to this card. Like now. What's the likelihood that he just kills me next turn? If I don't do this. Probably pretty likely. Goodbye! Probably like, what? He's probably very confused right now. It's like, fine, I'll just juggle more. Now the next draw should be Shadow Step, and I will be in fucking business, man. Oh my god, I'd be in so much business. Fan of knives. Fan of knives into... Into this guy. Into this. He needs power overwhelming and a charge. Does he have it? Is the question. Power overwhelming into a. S Fuck you. <sighs> of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. 
why wouldn't you have exactly both power overwhelmings in your hand? So, you know, that's the part of Hearthstone that annoys the crap out of me. It's like, oh, he needed these two exact cards in his hand, and it's only not even ten turns into the game. Guess what? He has them. Ugh. Come on. I played that game the best that I could have. Like, it was that and then Reno next turn. Because I couldn't Reno before. Because then I'd just be back at the same amount of fucking health. I'm probably even in a worse spot. I like the sand, except I can't play most of it. Even then, I'm gonna toss. Yeah, I also put an assassinate in here. I think I got rid of the uh, frog for that. Burgle! Hmm, okay. That's an interesting card to somehow just magically draw. Just dagger up. Hmm. Interesting. My echoes are eternal. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We'll do that. Chances are he'll make the trade. And even if he heals it and then trades, I can still kill it next turn. I'm okay with that. Yeah, all right. That was that was an acceptable outcome. Now we'll trade. Play this amazing mech. It's probably what what's this doing? It's a five mana six six. It's pretty good. Its downfall was terrible, but I have no time for games. If you're playing a very control heavy game. I see how I can do this. And I'll come out on top. He's like, oh shit, I didn't think of that. Thank you. He probably did not even consider that as a possibility. Just healed myself for two. For two mana. <laughs> Basically, that is exactly what happened. And now it's on his side of the board for when he Nazoths. Instead of mine. Which is probably more useful, to be fair. Hmm. He is very much, well can't say that, considering that was created by Museum Curator, so it's not necessarily... It 
think we'll assassinate that one. Yes, I would like to buy a funnel cake. Thank you. Golden Undercity Husker. That was my uh, one of my rewards for last season. It's pretty cool. What are you gonna do, bud? I'm just gonna ignore it and attack my face for one. See, the Vanish is actually a really good counter against Nassaf, because all you have to do is just throw the Vanish out there after he Nassaths. Basically everything gets destroyed. Except Nassaf. Mind Blast. That's an interesting card to have. Kind of okay with it. Do this so I don't overdraw. I mean, if he holy novus, it's fine. But I have seven cards in hand. If I didn't play those two cards, he could have killed it, and I would have overdrew. So. This was obviously the better play. Well, I mean, there's probably better plays than that, too, but. That's okay. Are they now? I mean, there's not much in my hand that really needed to be lowered by one, but it's also the only card I could play at the time, so no reason not to, I guess. On the bright side, now I can mind control and do something in the same turn, which is actually pretty cool. shield. Okay. Alright. Nothing wrong with that play. Nothing wrong with it at all. Ah, oh, there's Nazoth. Problem is Nazoth does fucking nothing in this situation. I mind blast you and then I'm gonna play Yogg. Probably won't do anything either. Yay! Imps. Nothing. Burgle! Shiv, I get to draw a card. Demon Fuse. Doom! Cool. That was okay. Except now I have to play something. Mm. Yeah, that's fine.
And here comes the Entomb. I'm playing it partially because I have nothing else to play. But also, here comes the Entomb. Not an Entomb. Okay, then. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm not even sure what to make of that. Weird. We're gonna play in tomb now? Or are you not running in tomb? Because if you're not running in tomb, I'm very confused. Maybe he's not running in tomb. Give me something cool, Thistle T. Ho 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 That's something cool. It will be your death. I think he's waiting for an entomb? Or just doesn't have one. I have no time for games. Oh, well that's a cool card. It's so cool that I think I will take it. See, I have this amazing card called Mind Control. Let none survive. Incredible. What we do. Just a pinch of liquor. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely won this game, because I don't know what the hell he's playing at. Like, is he trying to combo me? Do I just die to combo? I think to be on the safe side, I think I'm going to fucking just heal myself this turn. Because I genuinely don't know what he's doing. But first of all, I'm going to do this, and then this. And then I'm going to play this Reno Jackson. Oh wait, why can't I play Reno Jackson? What's duplicated in my deck? What's in my deck that's a duplicate? Oh, two excavated evils. Are you kidding me? No way. You fucking kidding me. Fucking what, mate? No. Really? Yeah, he played two fucking excavated evils. What a bastard. That's okay. Hit you for one. Unhero power. 
You played two excavated evils. That's what it was. Huh. Now he probably feels like he can't even win. That's both of his doomsayers done, by the way. So... Do you like to play with fire? Get that golden monkey. Cut purse. So let's play this exhibited evil, and we'll play cut purse. Maybe I'll get some coins for my monkey. I'm still not exactly sure what he's playing at. Like, I haven't seen anything. He's used, like, all his flash heals. He's used his one Auchenai. He's used both of the Darkshire healer guys. Like, I'm not exactly sure what he's getting at here. I mean, I'm just gonna play Nazoth because it's the biggest fucking thing I can do. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, can I circle me? Okay. It deals with a good portion of the board. Not just what I wanted. Second circle of healing? Okay. That's fine. I have the monkey. Like, so this isn't too bad. Look, at this point it's just cards for me to play. When I monkey. I don't even want to sprint. Like, there's no... There's no benefit to playing any cards whatsoever in my hand. I don't need a Reno. I just need the Golden Monkey. Like this. Okay. Well, I mean, there's not much else I'm gonna do, so... Monkey! Like I said, there's not very much else I'm going to be able to do in this game, so... I don't even know if he's got too much... Oh, he's gotten into him, okay. So, I mean, there's that. Big deal. I mean, I'm just going to start playing, like, big shit now. So, like... Uh, I want to play this, because he can't be targeted. so we can't even mind control it. So there's there's that for one. For two... I guess we'll play Malagos next? Like, uh, it, I don't know. Like, I just need to put shit on the board so I can kill him. See, that's fun. I'm gonna play that. Because now if he plays any spells, they're mine. And I could use spells. Yes, I go. Oh, thanks. Thank you. He is the essence of magic. Okay, so... Let's see here. All I have to do is do this. We do this. Well played. 
We're gonna play this for funsies. We're gonna play this for funsies. Leroy Jenkins! Who? That was fun. Shut up. So, yeah, that was that was fun. I'm gonna leave it right there with that one because that was basically the best game that we're gonna have with this. So, peace out, guys. See you next time.